Can we rise through it all till we find what we want? Then we lose it all again. Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in. Just me, just you. Lost in the moment. Hello, my friends. What is up? So, I'm at the gym. As you can see, I've been working out already because the glow. It's here. <laughs> Anyways, I wasn't gonna vlog today because the gym was, my gym was quite busy, but now a lot of people has left and it's getting empty. So I was like, why not vlog for you guys? Because today is leg day because I am a booty girl, as y'all know. I like to work my legs, I like to work my hammies, I like to work, I like to work my glutes because those are the areas I want to develop better because um, I think it's just really pretty to have nice curves you know you know I'm doing some kettlebell squats with press um, I've only done one set and I did my warm-up on the Stairmasters and yeah um, so I'm just gonna show you guys my workout basically so stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy oh by the way I have a very exciting announcement I just landed my first personal training job ever. I'm not certified yet, and my client knows very well, but he's like, I don't care that you don't have certification. I know you know what you're doing. And I'm like, are you sure? And he's like, yes, I want you to train my girlfriend. I'm like, okay then. And I'm like so excited. I'm so happy. I'm so stoked. It's crazy because it's something that I've been wanting to do for such a long time. And now I finally get this great opportunity to like help somebody to change somebody's life. That is just an honor for me, okay? So the fact that he chose me out of all the trainers that are certified or out of all the trainers in the city, he chose me. And it's just it's such a grateful feeling. And I am so, so blessed. So yeah, I'm excited for that journey. And let's get going because my body is starting to like cool down already. Okay, let's get going. I know you guys have seen me do this exercise already. The kettlebell squat into press. It's one of my favorite like full body exercise. Basically what you do is you have to keep your core nice and tight. Your feet should be just slightly um, outside of shoulder width apart with your toes pointed a little bit out your chest nice and high, your core, like I said before, is so important, your core needs to be activated. And basically when I lift one arm, the other arm helps me stabilize my squat. As you can see, like right now I'm lifting with my left hand and my right arm is like basically out by my side to just help me stabilize when I go into the squat. I do this exercise 12 reps per arm for a total of four sets, resting about 30 seconds to 90 seconds um, in between sets. You should not be resting more than that or else your heart rate will go down and you won't be burning as many calories. Your resting period between sets really depends on your fitness level and how much weight you're lifting and how intense your lifts are. So for this exercise, my rest period, it's only like 30 seconds to 45 seconds because I'm only using an eight kilo kettlebell, so it's not that heavy. It is quite intense, but that's the whole entire point of doing this exercise. I wanted my heart rate to jump up and I wanted to stay up as much as possible. So my resting period was really quite short. Like I said, only 30 seconds to 45 seconds. But for someone who's less fit, I don't recommend you resting more than 90 seconds because your body is just going to cool down and you're not going to be burning as many calories and your body is not going to be forced to change. I don't recommend your resting periods to be longer than 90 seconds. Now on to sumo deadlifts. Um, one of my favorite type of deadlifts because it really targets the glutes and the hamstrings. It puts less pressure on your back and it really emphasizes your hammies. I personally perform the sumo deadlift with the switch grip. I just feel like I have a better hold with the switch grip. Switch grip 
rather than the conventional grip. Your feet should be placed wider than your shoulder width apart with your toes pointing outwards. Your abs should be activated, your shoulders in a neutral position. As you begin to lift the weight, you should drive through your hips and push through your heels in order to lift the weight off the ground. Once you are up, you descend the weight with control and repeat. Pacing back and forth oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here All your shots have scored No Here's another angle of the deadlift. You can see how my core is nice and activated. And you guys don't forget to breathe. You guys have to breathe. I see some people just not breathing and holding their breath the whole entire time and you are gonna pass out. As you can see in this angle, I am breathing and holding my breath on the way up to keep everything nice and tight. I exhale as I lower the weight. Once I'm back down, take a deep breath, up, and then exhale. Not the scars you left on my skin. But we fight and we fall and we rise through it all till we find what we want. Then we lose it all again. Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in. Just me, just you. Lost in the moment. Now on to a superset um, leg press on the Smith machine with Romanian deadlifts with the dumbbell. First of all, the leg press with the Smith machine is a new exercise for me and I really, really love it. I don't have any pressure on my lower back because basically your back is flat on the bench and you're just pressing upwards with your feet. This was just like a warm up set for me because um, as I said, this is a new exercise and I like to just figure things out when I do new exercises with lighter weight. So I'm just starting out with very light weight and then I'll do this for about, I think 15 reps um, with the lighter weights and then I'll do the um, deadlifts. Now on to the Romanian deadlift. Per usual, this is one of my favorite exercises. I've shown you guys this exercise before. Basically, you keep your core nice and tight, your shoulder blade in a neutral position, chest out. Do not lock out your knees. When you come down with your weight, you should feel the hammies being pulled and don't forget to keep your back in a neutral position and flex your glutes on the way up. I did five sets of this super set. This is my second set. I've added more weights for the leg press because I felt more comfortable now. So I'm just adding more weights on the leg press and I kept the same weight for the deadlifts because that was already challenging enough.
just saw that it was raining cats and dogs last time. Looks like I'll be stuck in here a little longer than planned, but that's okay. I'll do some cardio. On to the last, the last, the last exercise of the day: hip abductors. Um, this is really self-explanatory because it's on a machine. I like to do the hip abductors a little bit leaned forwards because I feel like I really target my glutes that way. Make sure to really control the movement as you adduct, which means pushing your hips away from the midline and also controlling when you come back to the starting position. on your face and doesn't rub away. I really need some because here. Oh my. <laughs> so I guess that's it for today's workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you, I hope you found it helpful and I'll try my best to film other type of workouts um, but I like to work my booty and my legs. So yeah, I'm about to eat my post-workout meal now and probably wait it out um, because it's still raining out and probably do some cardio after my meal and that's about it if you guys liked my video please subscribe for some more other videos coming your way and please don't forget to like and also um, comment below if you have any tips or if you have any questions about any um, workout so yeah just let me know i look forward to hearing from you guys Ooh.